Right now, NASA is moving forward with the Artemis 1 moon mission. The rocket has recovered from leaks and other damage from Hurricane Nicole. Liftoff is now set for tomorrow morning. Here's Linda Kincaiden with those details. NASA says it's on track for the Artemis 1 mission to launch Wednesday. That could pave the way for U.S. astronauts to return to the moon. The launch of NASA's most powerful rocket ever, which is carrying the uncrewed Orion spacecraft, is targeting a two-hour window for liftoff, beginning at 1.04 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday. That's if all goes to plan. Previous launches have been scrubbed because of bad weather and technical issues. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. NASA says the mission is still ready to go, even though the mega rocket sustained some minor damage after Hurricane Nicole swept across Florida last week. Artemis 1 was already on the launch pad when the storm unexpectedly strengthened. NASA says it was designed to withstand high winds and needed minimal repairs, but the launch date was pushed back by two days. It's the latest in a series of delays for the Artemis 1 launch, which was initially set for late August. The first two attempts were scrapped after issues with a fuel leak. The team now going into the cutoff procedure after uh, being unable to resolve a hydrogen leak. The third scuttled by the threat of an earlier hurricane, which had forced NASA to roll the rocket back to the hangar for safety. If and when Artemis gets off the ground, it has some lofty goals. The first mission is expected to be a 25-day journey to the moon's orbit and back. Artemis 2 repeats the trip, including astronauts and a lunar flyby. Artemis 3 plans to put astronauts back on the moon's surface. Linda Kincaid, CNN.